All right, let's continue here by expanding this uh, model out to get the full idea of what it looks like with these particular proportions. To keep this from getting uh, complicated or mixed up, I'm going to show a few steps here with an explanation. I want to uh, move this roof geometry. If I move this around, um, I've selected all the roof geometry. You can see how it sticks to the wall of the shed, pulls it around. And if we want to move it separate, um, it can be complicated. So we'll just undo that move, and I'll show you the difference here. When I right-click on this and make this geometry a group, <clears throat> then I can move it anywhere I want. It moves separate of the wall. <clears throat> so that can be helpful in organizing a model. So I'm just going to group. Um, now we have a slab, a uh, concrete slab group, a wall group, and a roof profile group. And um, But now to, to manipulate these, if I want to push-pull this, it doesn't do anything until I double-click it and get into the edit mode. You can see the edit mode with this dotted line. So we're just going to stretch this geometry out so that we have a whole shed or a whole studio. And then we'll do the same with the roof get into this profile, and by double-clicking on it, it'll extend it the same amount as the last move. So we'll stay in this um, roof group edit mode and put some overhangs on here. Let's uh, go for 16 inches on the ends, both ends, simple enough. And then um, just an arbitrary, say, 24 inches. I'm extending this 24 inches, so it doesn't necessarily give it a 24 inch overhang, but we'll just use this for proportion's sake. And um, that shows pretty quickly how this shed would look. We'll turn the shadows on, get some portions here, and then um, uh, just for grins, let's put a little detail on the fascia. Turn off those shadows, jump into the roof group edit mode. And I'm going to select these lines here, and then offset, oh, let's say, two inches. I get a set face, copy that line. Oops, I can copy just that line. Yeah, it's not going to work. I wanted to make a copy of that for the other side of the roof. Maybe we can get it this way. There we go. And then rather than copying and paste, I just take the geometry, select the Move tool, hit the Control key. This makes a copy and sends it to this end of the roof. And if we want that to be a three-quarter inch thick uh, fascia piece, we've got a little detail in fascia. And then I can use the Push-Pull tool and double-click this side and get the same three-quarter inch. Gives us a little deal on the fascia to work with. Um, and then uh, throw some materials at this. And there's a difference here in coloring components. Um, I've gone to the little paint bucket, which is material select. I'm going to select asphalt. Oops, asphalt and concrete is what I wanted. And uh, we'll take concrete 4x8 forms and put it on this component. You can see when I do that, it colors the whole component. If I um, go in and edit this component and then paste and, and choose a material and select it, it does it one surface at a time. So if you want to do the whole component, it's easier to um, do the whole thing at once. If it's just parts of it, um, you can break into the component edit mode, which I'll do here, and put some uh, siding on here, <clears throat> brick and cladding, uh, and these these different textures uh, I've had from other versions of SketchUp and some different download stuff, so they might not be readily readily available uh, to anybody at any time. Just going to show um, this process, and I don't know if this shed is going to end up being red. I don't. Really know about that. So by um, selecting this component and then going into the edit mode, um, we can.
can change that color somewhat. I'm going to try to aim for a brown by dialing these little controls around. Kind of a reddish brown there. Something like that. Simple enough. Um, and then the same thing on the roof. I'm going to select another material. Uh, we'll select roofing and put some nice shakes on here. And here I'm just going to do one surface. Um, and uh, that, that can be edited and selected and changed out um, anywhere along the way. But anyway, this is an idea of, of the profile outline of, uh, of the studio building uh, with some of the proportions. Um, and the beauty of SketchUp is um, if we decide, well, this roof here, rather than have a 512 pitch, if we want to change the proportions here, we can switch that to a 612 or any other pitch we want um, to get the overall proportions. Uh, future steps on this project will include uh, putting in windows, etc. as the